in as much as they can before bedtime. Outside the fox sneaks into the cow shed. Is there anything here for a hungry fox to eat? Creep silently, Mr. Fox. Creep silently to the bell one hears. Every night the children fill the Tonton's bowl with porridge. They've never seen him, but they know he is there. The foxes and Tontons. All the children are fast asleep in their beds. All the stars. Okay. All the stars. See all the stars? All gone. All gone. So I suppose firstly, uh, like, happy birthday! <laughs> it's been uh, Athena's 30th birthday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Entering into a new decade. Yeah, everything just starts to hurt now. <laughs> <laughs> it already does. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish I was your age again. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we've been staying at this uh, beautiful, kind of secluded, remote cottage in the Lake District. Um, very simple. It's kind of, sort of, they're trying to get it back to how it was in the 50s. Um, and it is like stepping back in time, isn't it? Oh yeah, massively. It's incredible. Just, just a big old sort of Victorian range in one room, and then a little wood burner in here. And that's just, the only heat source in the yeah, house. So yeah. you've got to kind of keep that going while you're here. Um, Very simplistic. No real running water as such. I mean, there is a tap that comes straight in off a well, um, sort of in a back room. And you fill up jugs um, to then boil water for whatever you need. The water it's filtered, for. so it's all safe. Yeah, it's, to, yeah, to it's to just drinking. like yeah, it's uh, yeah, just it's, I mean, it's beautiful here, isn't it? Yeah, and there's no electricity apart from a, a couple of there's some solar lighting down here downstairs. No electricity upstairs. <laughs> you can't see on the camera, but Eve is just, um, just hanging cute. out with Oslo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just been amazing. So we were here with our friends Molly and Phil mm -hmm. and we just really kind of, it's been really nice to just be like off grid, offline, had no phone service, you have phone service in the toilet and that's yeah, it, yeah. the compost loo. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to the office, yep. <laughs> we'll just go <laughs> to the compost loo. That's very yeah. nice. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's Cracking view. Cracking yeah. view from the loo. And we woke up this morning to, well, so first of all, when we arrived, there was snow and we weren't actually sure we could get up there. They actually called, called us and were like, we can't get you up there. You'll have to walk. Um, we can get you halfway up and then you'll have to walk the rest of the way. Mm. So we, and obviously them knowing we had a baby and a dog, they were like, you know, not sure if you should go and maybe you should go stay at our barn which they've got another property which is nearer to the road and um, we kind of ch chatted about it with our friends and we were like no nah, let's all right, let's go for it we're gonna we're gonna go anyway yeah we can kind of you know we're pretty used to sort of hiking things in and, yeah. and being in remote places and this is like I think we can actually we can make this work and if yeah. we can't then we bail but um, um, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Because, yeah, I don't think they were too sure of who they were expecting. Yeah, it's like, you know, if you're, uh, you don't know who's coming and, and what? what experience they have, and they just see, you know, that we've got a baby and yeah. totally understand. Um, but I'm so glad that we came up here because, well, yeah. there was snow when we came up, which was really cool. It did melt quite, quite quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this morning we've woken up to howling wind and rain um, and it's got some real Wuthering Heights vibes. Yeah. Just, yeah, it feels like you're... And there was, there was one evening where it then Hello, started snowing that? again and we were like, oh, okay, hang on, this yeah. could, be, this could was, get quite interesting. It was really sticking quickly. Yeah, yeah, wasn't it? It's was quite cold, wasn't it? So yeah. I suppose like, the ground was just... But then it started, it just, it turned during the night and started raining. Mm -hmm. um, so actually we woke up and it's like, oh, <laughs> 
slightly disappointed. <laughs> yeah, we were all like, kind of expecting oh. to be snowed in. Our <laughs> friends were like, oh, maybe we won't have to go to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's nice to be kind of like way more at one with the elements here because you are living in an amount of it. So you're, you want some more biscuit? Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you're just kind of, you're very aware of what's going on with the weather because you know you have to, to, to go to the toilet, you have to go outside to, you know, you're like... Walking the dog, you know, every morning, or like, yeah, getting you just, firewood. You're just really in and amongst it all, so that's, yeah. yeah it's, 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 simpl it's, you know, going back to a simplistic way of living. Uh, there you go. I mean, you know, if you're doing this day in, day out as part of your life, it'd be, pretty, it'd be, it'd be difficult. Yeah. I mean, you get into a routine with it, and well, obviously we survived back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's been quite novel. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. It's been a very memorable 30th birthday. I enjoy these these times, <laughs> these experiences. I get quite into it. Quite, <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. Eva loves this as well. Like, yeah, you know, she's she, been super happy. She just kind of laps it all up and loves being outside and just... I think just the case that, you know, she can just walk out the front door and just be on the felt. Mm -hmm. wow. Super great. I mean, it kind of makes us realise, you know, how much we miss kind of having a having a garden. But yeah, we're going to get picked up in a minute. We're just having a good old Yorkshire fog. If yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then the truck's going to come pick us up. So we get a lift around the hill for all our stuff. And then it's back to back home, back to reality. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's show you guys what we got up to in the last few days. <laughs>
There is no government so worthy as your son who sits with you in silence beside the forest pool. There is no national glory so comely as your daughter whose hands have learned of music and go their own way on the